Hello there. If you are new here into Evernote, you are actually in the right place. So I'm going to be showing you how to tame your work, how to organize your stuff, your tasks, your schedule just in one place. And for that, I'm going to be using Evernote. So I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can sign up totally for free. And as you can see, there's a personal, a professional prize and monthly prize, prize that appears actually in here into MX because I'm currently um, actually here into Latin America. But you have to be worried about that. Speaking about the professional stuff, it's just three dollars a month, which is actually nothing. But if you want to stick around with the free person, you can totally do that. Actually, I'm going to leave you uh, with that link. I'm going to leave you a start pro version so you can check it out if it's the right for you. And if it's good, then you can just start right away. Now, in my case, I want to create an account here with Google, with my Google account, with my Gmail. Now, I'm going to choose to get started. Depending if you're doing this for your work, for school or personal, you want to choose your workspace. In my case, I want to go for work and go into next. Now, where will you be using Evernote? I can strongly recommend you guys to use every uh, stuff here into your desktop application so you can install your personal computer. So I can do this on my phone. But in my case, I just want to enable this one just for this tutorial. But you guys want to enable your desktop and your phone. Then go into next and in here you have the meeting notes, the project planning and the to do list, like the importance of your work. So you want to choose your project planning to do list and the meeting notes if this is for your work or for your personal work. In my case, I want to enable the three of them and hit into next. Uh, it all starts with a note in here. So what we can do here into Evernote is just to start writing, let's say, for example, the to do list. Um, do my stuff and hit into next and you can apply here to add this let's say as a task right so i can choose to change this later so i can see my task uh assigned in here i'm going to choose assigned i have my notes i have my due dates and here into my notebook it's actually like very very great to have more than one notebook let's say that this is for math i'm going to choose create i'm going to have a new notebook let's say that this is for personal stuff and hit into enter and what i can do here is to choose this three dots uh let's say that i want to add that to my shortcuts so i can see that directly here into my shortcuts so i'm going to be clicking into my personal stuff i can create my new stuff and i can title this for example october 2021. i can like to attach my stuff let's say my personal document and here to just add a link for a google drive so what is going to be happening me is what's going to be happening here is that i can link to a google drive section uh, it's going to be really easy just to merge my google drive into evernote so i don't have to go back into google drive look for my files and import that i mean i already have almost everything into just one file in my case this is the case so i want to choose google drive it's going to be popping up my google drive and i can see all my documents in here so i can just select my document and i can see that in here which is really really simple right and and after that let's say that this is a task for someone i can go into share and here into invite to someone can edit or invite can edit or just say view shareable link enabled and i can just copy my link and send that to the person who i want this to see this uh evernote stuff so as you can see actually it's really simple it's really uh great to use these tools check it out by yourself uh see for yourselves how it's going to be working for your own personal work you have sketches you can add so much more things in here be creative into your own personal stuff uh, figure it out if this is the right application or not for you and once again guys this has an application that you can download out totally for free for your pc for your iphone your android whatever you are uh, using so far so thank you so much for watching this video guys hopefully this was very useful for you don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this uh, great tools like evernote thank you so much for watching this video guys and well, I will see you next time.